Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your monthly reading for the month of November. I'm hearing some of you guys could be from New York. I'm from New York. Okay, but um, uh, hello, Gemini. Welcome to your monthly reading. Um, this reading is going to be time stamped. Okay, we're going to be covering a lot. I have a whole agenda, itinerary of stuff. It's not the whole list that you just saw, but it's some things. Um, I am going to be time stamping as I go along so that if you guys just come here for love or if you just come here for money, or if you just come here for like what you need to know, you don't have to sit through a whole hour long reading. You could just get your fill and be done with it. Uh, but I am going to be time stamping. So if you see me going off to the side, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna actually going to put my iPad like right here so I could time stamp as I go along. OK, but that's what I'm doing. If you see me uh, going off to the side, looking, looking like looking off. Usually I show the cards uh, in my readings, but I felt guided to do like kind of up close. Um, it feels kind of far away and I, I feel like I need to be up close for these messages. I don't know. I do whatever I feel guided to do. OK, I, I switch it around as spirit directs me or guides me to. So, yeah, we're just going to we're just going to go that way. Um, but let's get started, Gemini with your general messages. Like I said, I'm going to be time stamping as I go along. So if you see me going off, that's what I'm doing. Um, we're going to say your general messages. What general messages do you have for Gemini in general in November? I want to say something might hurt Gemini, maybe like emotionally, something might hurt. I'm getting like emotional wounding. Like you guys could be dealing with like emotional wounds or Stuff with like the emotional, your emotional body. Um, what do you have for Gemini in general in November? Gemini in general. Ge Gemini. <laughs> we have the Six of Wands. Okay, so this is successful. You're going to find that um, your efforts or something that you've created or something that you've done, it, it proves to be very fruitful or very successful. Okay, so I feel like, uh, yeah, I think I saw the sun card. Yeah, very successful. Um, I also see that, Gemini, you guys are going to be coming, you guys are going to be becoming very private, extreme, extremely private with, like, your business. You're going to keep people on, like, a need-to-know basis only, like, extremely, uh, very, very, um, I, I feel like there's an energy of, like, pride to this. Like, you feel prideful and you feel like you deserve to to keep something uh, private. Like, I feel like you've created a, a, a ring of protection around something. Like there's, you know, we have to be in the VIP club to get, to get access to whatever this is that Gemini is hiding. Okay. So you're not just like a letting anybody or everyone in willy nilly. Um, what's the six of wands for Gemini in general? Some of you guys could be learning a new language. I'm getting like French or you guys could be learning to cook French cuisine or something like that or learning new languages. What's the six of wands, Gemini? Yeah. You guys are going to be successful. I do see that some of you guys are going to be going to a party. Um, I feel like no November is going to be very eventful for you. Uh, someone can also say that they're sorry to you. It could be someone that you meet at the party or at some kind of celebration that you go to. Six of Wands, the sun. What is this for Gemini in November? Six of Wands, the sun. The Ten of Pentacles. You're going to be very successful. You guys are going to be very, you guys, are, some of you guys I want to say, you guys are going to be well known. You're going to be successful. And I want to say that you're going to be provided, you're going to be provided for like, it's almost like there's like a safety net or some kind of cushion that's being created for you where you're going to be, uh, you're going to be very comfortable, Gemini, you're going to be comfortable in some kind of energy or comfortable in general. Um, I don't know if this is like a blanket of money or what, but this is extreme success. You're, I feel like you're going to be provided for Like, I, um, I don't know if you guys heard this before, but like, um, I grew up in a house like where there was like prayer was prominent. Okay. Uh, just like by one person, not everybody did it, but just one person made the whole house. It was like the head of the household made prayer prominent. And, um, she would always say like, God is going to cover you, like cover, you know, God is going to place their hands on you and cover you. And I feel like you guys are being covered in, uh, in November. So I don't know if you guys are literally being covered by insurance or what, but I'm getting like, there's like a safety net or a blanket that you have to lay on. Like you're, you're good. You've created some kind of foundation for yourself. So November looks amazing. The first few cards out look great. Um, what else do you have for Gemini in November? Spirit Gemini in November in general. Okay, we got the Ten of Wands. Some of you guys could be going out with a Leo or going, going to a party with a Leo. I'm getting something here about like your outfits, like what you're wearing. What's the Ten of Wands for Gemini in November? 
Ten of Wands, the Moon. Some of you guys, I'm getting Scorpio energy off of this. Uh, I'm getting family. You guys could be dealing with family members. I see you being very angry or very hurt by something that someone either did or something that someone said. This feels like it could be a parent, like a mother or father, or someone that you view as a parental figure. Um, I see you being very hurt by something here. What is this that Gemini is very hurt by in November? Ten of Wands, the Moon. I feel like also, Gemini, um, what you could be hurt by is you thinking that someone's your friend and they're not. I don't know if you view this person as family or what, but I see that you're going to be very hurt. I think I got the energy of hurt earlier, but um, you think someone's your friend or you think someone's on your side and they're not. Who is this person for Gemini? The devil popped out. Who is this person for Gemini? Or they think they're on their side, but they're not. Who is this? Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting something here about like, you're going to get very excited whenever you see a text from this person or whenever you see them pop up on your phone, you get excited or they may be very excitable. They're toxic. This person's a, big to a bit toxic. Um, we do have the devil here. So this could be a Capricorn. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. I'm getting this person's a loose screw. Okay, they've they're, they've got a short fuse. They're a loose screw. They're like a few. They're like a few screws loose from a straight jacket. Is what I'm going to say. Like this person could be like literally crazy. I don't. I don't even know if you know that about them. They, they could be like crazy. Okay, so yeah, the the moon. This can be like mental illness as well. Like it could be um, issues, subconscious issues as well. I don't think you know this about this person though. Okay. What else you got for Gemini in general, November? Gemini in general, November. Okay, Four of Swords. I see the energy of someone getting their karma in November, Gen Gemini. Um, wh what is this energy of someone getting their karma regarding Gemini in November spirit? What is this? Seven of Cups. Like someone's going to be feeling very tired. So... I want to say take care of yourself, okay? So if you're feeling extreme, like if you're going out a lot, make sure that you're taking care of yourself too because I see you needing a lot of rest or someone needing a lot of rest. Like being, like the, the month could be being very eventful and it's taking a toll, like it's very taxing on your body. Okay, what is this energy of someone getting karma? Seven of Cups. I just feel like you're feeling very tired. You may be doing something too much, too excess. Okay, so just be mindful of that. Seven of Cups, Eight of Swords. I see you feeling like exhausted and like kind of burnt out. So, you know, it's a fun month, but don't do something. Don't do something. A don't do something too much. Okay. Let me see if I can get one more message. Um, can I get one more message for Gemini in general in November? Some of you guys could be booking a massage, getting a massage. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. That's money. Ace of Pentacles for Gemini. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Um, I see some of you guys like spending money to go out. So like, it looks like an output kind of month, like a lot of money going out. Um, I see you guys going to the movie theater. Okay, so you're gonna go. You're gonna be paying for like a showing with somebody. Like I feel like you're gonna be watching something on like a screen, movie theater. I don't know why I feel like you're going to be playing, uh, you're going to be playing, oh my God, what the fuck? You're going to be paying a pretty penny for something, okay, Gemini? So something is going to cost a lot of money. I don't know if you guys are buying a TV, I don't know, but something's going to cost a pretty penny. It's going to cost quite a bit, okay, Ace in the Four. Ace in the Three is the Four of Pentacles. That can be like some money. It could be savings, but it could also be your spending, this is for Gemini in November. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. I see you picking up a lot of extracurriculars or a lot of extra hobbies in um in November. Like I see you picking up some like some extra. I feel like you're doing stuff for some extra income, Gemini, because maybe you're noticing that a lot of money is leaving your bank account. So you're like, okay, well, what am I going to do for some extra money so that that money could stay or so that I could. One second. Like I said, I live in New York. Slowest moving ambulance or emergency truck ever. They're probably dead now. How long it took you to get through that. <sighs> I gotta move out.
I hate the sirens here. Like, I don't, I, anyways, okay. But yeah, I see you picking up some maybe like extra work, odd job. This could be like a part time job or a full time job just to put some extra money in your pocket, okay? So I see you working, okay, for some extra income, some extra money. So just know that extra money is coming, but it seems like you're seeking it out yourself. Like, you're seeking out these opportunities. This could be self employment, you know, starting a new business. Um, maybe odd jobs here and there, odd gigs, but it's stuff to like put money to your savings or for you to save, for you to invest. Okay. Um, let's move on to single, single Gemini's. Oh my God. Singles. We're going to say that you are 10 minutes, 48 seconds. Singles. I feel like someone's going to act like they're not interested or like they're not invested, but they are. Someone here is, they're putting up a fake front, like they're not invested or like they're not interested in you, but I feel like they're more interested than they're letting on. Okay, singles. So just, just keep that in mind. Um, I actually want to use a different deck for you guys. Hold on. Let me get this out. Sorry, my strap is falling. What do you got for my single Gemini's in November? Some of you guys could be buying a new car. I don't know. I feel like some of you guys could be focused on the energy of like reinventing yourself. What do you got for my single Gemini's in November? <clears throat> Seven of Cups. Okay, you guys could have options, but I feel like these are these options are going to be playing a lot of games. Okay, a lot of mind games. The Seven of Cups for single Geminis in November. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Sag soon. Seven of Cups. The Emperor. There's like an energy of somebody singles that's envious of your success. Um, like like a, maybe you're doing better than this person and they're envious about that. So just be mindful of that. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure that this is not bouncing against the necklace. Can you clarify the Seven of Cups Emperor for Gemini? I'm seeing the return of a toxic past person. This person is very flirtatious. They've got a big ego. They also have a big dizzik, okay, or a big cooch, whatever, whatever you're into. They got a big whatever. Okay, this is the return of some toxic person from your past. They're still toxic, <laughs> okay? What else do you got for um, this person? May be a big flirt, or they may they may have been a big flirt to you, or be a big flirt. What else you got for my single Gemini's in November? I feel like uh, Gemini singles people just want to argue with you. Like for some reason, your love interest or people just want to fight with you or start problems. Like you're attracting problematic people, like petty, problematic, game playing, petty people. Like I feel like um, they're bored, so they'll start a fight. I don't know. It's like a um, I don't know, but we have King of Cups and we have the Lovers, which is your energy, Gemini. What is this from a single Gemini's? King of Cups, the Lovers. The Hanged One. Um, there's someone that's very intelligent. Okay, so there's there's you have an option that's very intelligent that's coming towards you. They could be a bit older. I feel like emotionally they're intelligent. Emotionally they're wise and receptive. Could be a Pisces. This person may be around your life, like they may be around for a bit. Okay, so I feel like, you know, maybe past November, like, you know, you'll, you'll be you'll be dealing with this person for quite some time. I want to say this person has a very calming aura or a very soothing aura, maybe soothing voice. Um, their energy calms you down. I feel like you like this person a lot more. Who is this for Gemini? This person makes your energy like kind of slow down. Like um, they make you want to take your time or sniff the roses. Okay, this person gives you a, I don't know, it feels like this person gives you some new purpose or a new lease on life. Who is this for my single Geminis? Eight of Pentacles. They like to party, but it's interesting how I'm getting that with the Hermit. Um, this could be a Virgo. This could be the person that's going to act like they're not interested in you, but they are. Could be someone that you work with. Uh, they're a bit of a party animal um, and they do like to work. Okay, this person could be a bit toxic, just a little bit. I mean, I guess we all are, I guess, in in some way. They like to act indifferent. 
Um, they may they may be treating you like an option or acting like they have options. I'm not saying whether they do, whether they do or don't, but um, that could be a toxic trait of theirs. Eight of Pentacles, the Hermit. Yeah, this is this was like a someone that you work with. Uh, so if you have a job, <laughs> then it could be someone that's your job. If you don't have a job, then I guess <laughs> then there's nobody. Well, if you have your own business, it could be someone in your business field. This person could work for themselves. They could be an entrepreneur, or they just they're just employed. They may have like water highly aspected in their chart. Okay. Um, Oh, you know what? I forgot I had these cards. I'm, I'm not going to use it for you singles, but I'm going to use it for the person on your mind. I forgot I had these. I forgot about these. Okay. Anything else for my single Geminis in November? Ten of Swords. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. I see you ending it with somebody. Okay, maybe like by ending of November... You're, and you're, you're burning a bridge with somebody. This could be someone that you were close to as well, someone that you're close with. I see you ending something like out of anger with somebody. Like you just get mad and there may be like a lot of curse words, a lot of cursing someone out or a lot of whatever. I feel like someone gets mad, so they end something. Um, cl clarify this Ten of Swords for my single Gemini's in November. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. This could be with a Taurus. I'm getting something here about like they could be much younger than you. Or they're much more, or maybe they're more immature. Maybe you're the wise one. Ten of Swords, Two of Pentacles. I'm getting an energy like this person could consistent, constantly talk about your weight. Like, I don't know if they mention weight a lot or your body or something. Like, it may, it may make you mad. What is this that Gemini is ending out of anger? Clarify this. My singles in November. Ten of Swords. Some of you guys may discover that you're being juggled, okay? You could be just, you could discover that you're being, uh, I don't want to say cheated on because this is for singles, but I don't know if someone made you think that there was something and then, you know, you find out that there's other options in the mix. Someone here could be a game player. Nine of Pentacles. I'm getting the ending of August. You could be ending something with this person that you met ending of August or something like that. I don't know if you talked to them ending of August, met somebody... Ten of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. This could be an Aries. They got a very smart mouth. They're toxic. Clarify this. Why is Gemini ending this? Singles, November. Why is Gemini ending this? Page of Swords. They're very spiteful. They're a spiteful person. Spiteful human being. Knight of Cups. Well, I mean, it feels like there's not much else to say about that. I feel like you're just done. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's move on to um, the person on your mind. Okay, person on your mind. I'm about to move my iPad somewhere else because it's annoying to like. Let's just move it here. Hold on. Person on your mind. Eighteen minutes. Okay. Who is the person on Gemini's mind in November? Um, they're taller than you. They think that they're much smarter than you, or they could be much smarter. I mean, they could teach you. Um, I'm getting something about being athletic. I don't know if they like to uh, do things like physically, like move their body a lot. If they like sports, playing games, um, like sport games. Who is this person on Gemini's mind in November? King of Swords. Okay, they're very different. <laughs> they are very different in general and from you. Okay, this is this is this is unlike someone that you've ever met before. Someone unlike this is like someone that's unlike unlike anyone that you've ever like known or dealt with. Like this person, the way they the way they operate, the way they move, the way they do shit is different. <laughs> I just feel like um I think I feel like it takes a lot to surprise a Gemini because Gemini, you're so curious that you've explored almost everything. Maybe not in depth, but like you've explored a lot. And it takes a lot to kind of surprise you and I believe a Scorpio as well. And some of the earth signs, because they have a sense of like, I've seen it before. I've been here before. I know it all already. 
um, this person gives you a run for your money because they're different. Like they're, they're, I don't want to say they're odd. It's just that they're not like, they're not like normal. Like they don't do things normally. They do things their way. So it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, King of Swords. Definitely. Okay. Definitely could be a Libra. This person could be very generous. Who, uh, give me one more card. Who is this person on Gemini's mind in November? King of Swords, the world, the Knight of Pentacles. They could be an artist. For some of you guys, they could be a little bit well-known in their career or their field or whatever they do. They could be a little bit known. They're, they're an artist. I feel like they like art. I'm getting art museums. Like they like, they may like to go to natural art exhibits, the, uh, the Museum of Natural History, like museums, history, historical figures, trines, um, artistry, music, musicians. Like they may be into all that stuff, like old time jazz, old time stuff. Um, I don't know why I'm getting Old Town Road. They may like Billy Ray Cyrus. Um, yeah. What's going on between Gemini and this person on their mind in November? What's going on? Seven of Wands. I'm getting something here about they could be watching their weight or watching their figure. So they're watching like what they eat. Someone could be going on a diet. <laughs> I don't know if it's you or them. I feel like it's them. I'm getting Weight Watchers. I don't know if this person feels like they're fat or something. I don't know if this person is bigger. I don't know. Tell me more. What's going on between Gemini and this person? With this devil card, I feel like they're very smart. Like they're very intelligent. So you can't really get anything past them. If you're trying to trick them or fool them or get one over on them, they're very smart. You know, they're already past this. It seems like someone, it seems like some kind of experience has aged someone. Like they already know your tricks or your loopholes, Gemini. So if you try to like, but what about, they're already like, no, nope. like they kind of deter you everywhere you go. So I feel like somebody's got you figured out. Could definitely be an air sign because air signs know air signs. <laughs> okay. Um, with the devil. <laughs> They could be a Capricorn as well. I find that Gemini and Capricorn actually mesh well together as well. Um, what's the devil for uh, Gemini? This person and what's going on between Gemini and this person on their mind? The devil. Okay, they're not really sure about something. I see that it's taking them a long time to make up their mind, Gemini, because they're not really sure about something. Okay, so um, you're going to have to put a rain check on something. They're not really sure. They don't, they don't, I don't know. They're trying to make up their mind. They're trying to decide how they feel or, you know, what they think about something. They're not sure. The devil and the, uh, the death card. What is this that this person's not really sure about regarding Gemini in November this past, this person on their mind? They're not really sure about themselves or they're not really sure about a decision anymore. Like, I feel like they don't know how they feel. They're like, uh, they're, um, conflicted. They're like, um, they're not making a, they're not making a decision because they're, they're kind of maybe trying to weigh out their options. They're not really sure how they feel. The Knight of Cups and the Hanged Man. This is, um, Pisces energy. What is this that this person's not really sure about? Maybe like making some kind of gesture or making something obvious or something like that. I just feel like they're not really sure about how they feel, though, about a relationship or how they feel about something. They're not really sure if they're ready yet. Okay, so someone could be expressing that to you. Maybe maybe you need to give this person some more time. They're not really sure if they're ready or how they're feeling. They haven't decided yet how to feel about something. So I see you and this person being at like a, a standstill or a hanged man moment. There could be a bit of a break or like, you know, a peer, you know moments of inactivity, you know, um, a delay because they're trying to make up their mind. Can you give me one more card? How, what is this person not sure about? This person on Gemini's mind? Three of Wands. I'm getting like being friends. Like they're not sure about being friends again or or doing, like they're not really sure about this. Sorry, my nose itches a lot whenever I do these readings. I'm not trying to be nasty. It's just that my nose gets super itchy. Three of Wands. They're not sure if they could be friends with someone like, I feel like, I don't know, like, I feel like the energy that I'm that guy that I feel right now, like how I don't know is how they feel. Like on one hand, they're like, no, I can't do that. I can't be friends with someone like like this, or I can't do something like this with Gemini. I can't be friends with someone like Gemini, blah, blah, blah. And on the other hand, they're like, but I'm not sure. I feel like they're kind of gearing more towards the negative of not sure. Like the, like I, I shouldn't, I can't, but then I feel like they're not sure. I'm getting like, I'm not sure if I could be friends again. I'm not sure if I could do this. So I feel like they're going to have you wait. 
okay, they're going to have you wait until they make up their mind because they're not sure about something. I mean, what, what, what are the, what are they gearing more towards regarding Gemini, this person on their mind? Like what, what decision are they gearing more towards making? Like what's, what's the most, uh, what's the most dominant feeling that they have right now regarding Gemini? Um, what are they gearing more towards this person on Gemini's mind? The lovers. What's this lovers? What is, what is this person gearing more towards regarding Gemini? The lovers and the 10 of pentacles. I feel like I, like I said, I feel like they feel conflicted because I'm getting an energy of like, they want to disappear, but at the same time they want results. Like they kind of want to see what happens. So I don't even think they have like a dominant emotion. Like they're really unsure. Someone's really conflicted. Okay. Um, <clears throat> can I get one more? What else is this? What else is going on between Gemini and this person on their mind? I'm gonna get some advice for y'all. What else is going on between Gemini? Okay. There's some distance. Um, someone's being a little bit childish. Someone's maybe playing some games or you may feel like someone's playing some games. Like they're being manipulative a little bit. There's some distance. Okay. I feel like there's a lack of communication. You know, I feel like someone's having you wait that, you know, they're kind of keeping you on the side or like on like um, on layaway or something like that, like until they're ready, until they've decided. So, you know, I feel like um, I want I want to say don't expect much. I'm gonna get an advice card, but tell me about this five of swords. There's like some distance, like emotional distance or mental distance. Like, I don't know if you guys are not talking much or someone's being kind of cold. Um, there's not much communication going on. OK, uh, you may feel like there's game playing. Um, a little bit. Sorry, I just spit. You may feel like there's game playing a little bit. Damn, three of swords. Yeah, you guys may be feeling a little bit hurt by this, left out in the cold. Yeah, I, f I feel like you're kind of hurt by the emotional distance. You're going to be feeling it, Gemini. You're going to be feeling a type of way in November. So I'm sorry. I don't want to predict that, but I'm sorry. Um, what's the advice for Gemini regarding them and this person on their mind? What's the advice? Compromise. I feel like compromise. Um, you can reach a compromise with this person. So just try to be as, I'm not saying like be a doormat, but be as compromising as possible. If you want something like compromise with this person, like, you know, if they don't want to do nothing crazy right now, then don't get yourself fully invested to get hurt. Um, if they're not communicating, then I'm not saying be tit for tat, be petty, but it's like, you know, respect their space, respect their boundaries and, you know, wait for them to come to you. Meanwhile, nurture your garden. There's a quote that says that like, um, I'm actually going to see if I can find it real quick. Hold on. You know what? I'm not even going to be real quick. We're here for an hour. I could take as long as I fucking want. Okay. Um, hold on. Nurture. I'll be going off on like nobody. <laughs> Y'all like, who is she talking to like that? You. No, I'm kidding. Nurture your garden. Quote. Because there's something about butterflies and gardens. Okay, don't chase the okay, don't waste time chasing butterflies. Mend your garden and the butterflies will come. So don't chase don't waste time chasing this person. Like compromise with them, be compromising, be compassionate. I'm not saying be in your feelings, but you know, understand where they're coming from. Maybe there's a reason why they're conflicted, why they why why there's a standstill, why there's a wait, why they're not sure. It really feels like they are conflicted, honestly. Um, so don't waste time chasing them or trying to do whatever, trying to force it. Hanged man moment. You cannot force this. This is external to you. This is about them. Hanged man moment says that you're just going to have to wait. There's going to be a delay. You're going to have to wait for now. Do not resist. Um, so don't chase them. Don't waste your time. Mend your garden as in work on your life, work on you, work on your persona, you know, being the best version that you could be, Gemini. build yourself up and, you know, maybe they'll come to you. Maybe, maybe not, but Cause like I said, I'm trying to see where their, where, where their head is more at. I cannot really tell. I cannot really tell. It feels like they're genuinely, they genuinely don't know. Like they're going back and forth. I feel like if they told you that they're being honest. Okay. So just work on you and compromise, you know, compromise. Um, but you know, understand why as well, if, if whatever decision that they make and just work on you, I'm not, I'm not, um, let me see if I can get the outcome actually. What's going to be the outcome between Gemini and this person on their mind in November? The outcome, Gemini and this person on November. Um, okay, they're going to change their mind, Gemini. This person's going to change their mind. 
the tower. Uh, they may open up more to you. I feel like they're going to change their mind. What's the tower? I feel like they're going to invite you somewhere to go somewhere. They're going to change their mind about it. What's the tower? Um, the outcome between Gemini and this person on your mind. The tower, the four of swords. This person's very smart. They're very clever. For now, they're closed off. I see that they're being calm, but I, I feel like with the tower, they're going to change their mind. They may reveal something to you as well that may make you change your mind. I don't know. Let me clarify. What's this tower outcome? Gemini, this person on their mind. What's this tower? Let me hold on. The tower, six of wands. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus. They're going to come towards you. Okay, they're going to come towards you. They're going to change their mind about something. So it kind of looks positive, to be honest. Um, they're going to come towards you. But like I said, you have free will, energy is energy. They feel very conflicted. So for some of you, I don't know. For some of you, I don't want you to hold out hope. Like they're going to come towards me, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, mend your garden, focus on you, and the butterflies will come. If it's not this specific butterfly, fine, but you may attract an even better butterfly. Work on you. Let's get some hermit. Let's get some nosy cards. Can I get a nosy card for Gemini and this person on their mind? I don't want to lose you. You're, you hurt me, but that's okay, I guess. They are waiting for you. I feel like you're waiting. Or Gemini, take it how it resonates. You could be on the opposite side of this, whatever, but someone's waiting. I'm hearing someone's a, an empath. Um, I want a fresh start with you. Can I get another Gemini and this person on their mind? In November. <clears throat> Your family won't like me. Mm -hmm. There could be some, sorry. There could be some family issues, some trust issues. Someone's family may not like this person. I don't know why I drink my water like that. I don't really like touching the lip of it or the mouth of it sometimes. It feels weird. I don't know where it's been, but also I'm drinking what's inside. So that's kind of doesn't really make sense. Sometimes I do it. Sometimes I don't. You don't care. Um, we have maybe. I'm obsessed with your body. Some sex. So, so there's some sex here. You know, there's sexual attraction. We do have the devil card. Card number 15. Can I get one more card? Gemini, this person on their mind. In November. I think so, yes. Like I said, back and forth. Okay. Oh. You see, look. Yes. I think so, yes. And then, yeah, nah. And then we had maybe. Um, you are so beautiful. Why do you need me? So this person could feel very insecure about themselves as well, Gemini, because you're so, so, so attractive. Mm. I'm going to just, let me just go down the lineup. We got, yes, I'm addicted to you. I'm afraid to talk to you. Strength. Love me. Do you think about me too? Y'all just in limbo. Y'all are just in limbo. Okay. Get the hell out of my spread. Bye. I'm kidding. Don't get out. Stay. I want your energy because I got to read it. Okay, let's move on to your money messages. We spent long enough on that. I should have spent that long on singles. I'm trying to give each each option, like each part of the spread, equal time, like good time, so that y'all can refer back to this. Because I hate, I don't watch that many tarot readings. We're going to talk about me for a little bit, okay? It's going to be time stamped, so shut up, okay? You can skip this if you want. I don't watch many readings nowadays because, number one, I like to rely on my own judgment. And, you know, it doesn't matter if, like, I post often, but that doesn't mean that you have to watch often, like, you know, it is good to lean off of tarot and use your own intuition. Like, you know, you don't, you shouldn't spend your life constantly worrying about what's next. Um, unless if you want to live your life like that, like there's no judgment, but um, tarot can be very addictive. So I like to stay off of it. But that being said, when I used to be obsessed with it uh, and watch it all the time, um, I was like, I'm not getting information. Like you spend two seconds on one part of this. So uh, I want to give you guys some details is why I'm sticking to each spread like long enough so that if you want to go back, like you can get a lot of information. Like I like to give you guys a lot so that, um, you're not left feeling like, well, what else? Blah, blah, blah. Like you feel satisfied, sati satiated, full, not insatiable after this. Okay. I won't give you your, I won't give you your fill, your fill. Okay. If I feed my friends and my family, I make sure they ask full. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. Damn it. Hold on. Oh, oh my God. Fuck. Ugh. I gotta stop saying that before I manifest some real back issues. My back do be hurting though. Okay. We're going to redo your timestamp again. Okay. 
Can I get some money messages for Gemini in November? Um, I want to say you guys are going to get lucky. You guys could actually go into business with a family member. Um, some of you guys, hold on. Let me just reshuffle that in there. What do you got for Gemini and their money in November spirit? Okay, five of wands. I feel like you're going to have some luck in business. You're going to be feeling very creative as well. And I see that you guys are going to have a lot of options. Um, I feel like Gemini in November, you guys are going to be using your creative genius a lot to get to whatever, whatever solutions you're trying to get to. You're going to be using your creative genius, your mind. Okay. You guys may have a lot of options. I feel like you're an avid reader. So reading, I don't know, book, maybe booktube is real. People review books. So you could do that. Um, I feel like you guys are good artists as well. You could, you could monetize off of your art. You know, I don't know if it's in November, but you know, you know, start a fiber, start a Patreon or start a TikTok, a YouTube channel with your, with your work, like sh let your colors shine. What's the five of wands for Gemini and their money in November? Gemini. Okay. I, I feel like you guys could be attracting a lot of yes men or yes women, like yes people. Cause I'm hearing like people are barking answers at you like a trained dog. Like you're looking for, it's like, you're looking for a specific look. You're looking for something. And like the, the options or the stuff that you're getting is like, yes, yes, ma'am. No, sir. Yes, sir. Like, it's like, can you just relax? Can you calm down? Like, I feel like you're looking for something maybe more jovial or more fun. Like not a yes man, yes woman, not like a, you know, people barking answers like a trained dog. Like I, I feel like Gemini, this could be advice to you as well. Like not to be so robotic in whatever it is that you're doing, like loosen up a little bit. Also, you could be dealing with people that are just like kind of tightly wound or just like, I don't know. It's like, it's like, you know, they're talking to you like you're a drill sergeant and they're, and they're a soldier. Like we could talk one-on-one. -on -one. Like, I just feel like, um, there's like a need to like, you know, there's like, there's some rigidity. There's a need to like be more malleable, like not like this move, you know, <sighs> loosen up or something. What's this five of wands for Gemini, their money in November? Five of Wands, Page of Cups. Um, I want to say be mindful of how you come across regarding your finances, okay? Be mindful of coming across a little combati a combati com competitive or combative, okay? Um, there's like a need to like be wary of how your energy may be perceived to others. What else do you have for Gemini and their money in November? Okay, I see that you're very excited for something. You're very excited to start something new and potentially to close something out as well. It could be a cycle. There could be a new beginning with you regarding your money. I feel like there's an experience that you may go through in November that's very insightful to you. Like it provides a lot of insight on your character, who you are, what you're willing to do, um, and just in general for your money. Like I feel like there's some insight coming to you financially. Okay, uh, you'll know when you're ready to like make some kind of move or some kind of jump but there's definitely insight. Okay. Some of you guys could be entering into some kind of program regarding your money as well. This is a victory. It's a challenging victory, but there's a victory. What's this for Gemini? Five of swords, the chariot for Gemini and their money. I see you making some money moves. I feel like you're very excited to do something new. Like you could be relocating for work, changing something, maybe like driving, moving, okay. Doing something new. The, the knight of swords and money means a change. I don't know if it's, it could be a good change or a bad change. It really depends. Well, it's upright, so it could be a good change, but, um, and you know, we do have the chariot, the five of swords, that is victory. Um, I see you being a lot more private with your goals. Uh, I, I feel like you're moving things around and you're getting results as well. I, I want to say that Gemini, like maybe once upon a time, you were not prepared for something financially. This time around, you're trying to ensure that you're better prepared for some kind of move that you're about to make or that you're going to make. Like, it's like you're setting yourself up for the future in a good way. What's this chariot for um, Gemini and their money in November? Um, some of you guys could be getting involved with a family member, like regarding work. The chariot, seven of cups. You're feeling very inventive regarding your money and your ideas. Like you're feeling very much like coming up with new things. Chariot seven cups. It seems like there's an idea that you have that you're you were gonna give up on it, but you're not gonna give up on this anymore. Like you're gonna keep going with it and you're gonna be successful in it. I feel like there's good news for you regarding your money. What is this good news for Gemini? Um, three of Wands. Okay, this could be regarding travel or expansion. 
like where you're going to be living, there's some good news. Like uh, I'm getting, a, you're, I'm getting, you're going to have a new lease on life. You're going to feel reinvigorated. Like there's some new passion coming towards you regarding your goals and whatever it is that you're trying to do or accomplish. What's this five of swords? Some of you guys could enlist in the, in the military. What's this five of swords for Gemini and their money in November? I'm getting something here about the use of a lot of swear words. So cursing, a lot of cursing. Uh, I don't know if you use a lot of curse words or you're, you're kind of heavy mouthed <laughs> with your with your career. Be mindful of that, how that could come across. Maybe like to coworkers as well, like try to find a balance with your language. You could piss some people off. OK, I see you getting people angry. With your verbiage, what you choose to say, what you choose to use. What's the Knight of Swords for Gemini and their money? It seems like something, some kind of business or something here is going to take off. Like maybe it's an idea that you have or whatever this is, it's going to take off. What's the Knight of Swords for Gemini and their money? Next seven, um, I said next seven days in November. Knight of Swords, Gemini and their money. Knight of Swords, the star. I feel like you have a secret admirer or a crush in your work, Gemini. It feels like there's someone that likes to stare at you. This could be an Aquarius. Um, I feel like this person wants to know if you're ready. Someone here may want to interview you or something like that. I feel like they want to know if you're ready. Like, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this position? Are you ready for this? Whatever. Um, but whatever it is that you're doing with with work and money in November, it's going to take off. Um, you guys could get invited to a party as well regarding your work. Uh, it's going to take off. Some idea or something's going to take off. It feels like at first it's slowly that something takes off and then it gains momentum or it gains traction and then you get some new ideas. What is this for Gemini and their money? All right, so where's the star? November. The Ten of Pentacles. Something takes off big time. Something pays off and takes off. Yeah, this is like the... The fruits of your labor, like um, there's the, your efforts are paying off. Like this is like a, your investments, a return on investments. Whatever you invested in, it's paying you back. Can I get one more for Gemini in November, their money? I may pull a Kipper card. Gemini, their money in November. I feel like you guys are going to be going to a party regarding your money and your finances. Um, you're going to be going out. I'm getting a lot of extracurricular activities, so your money could be going towards going out, spending, um, you know, events. Well, I don't know if you're going to a party with your colleagues, coworkers, or you're, you're having a night out on the town. What do you got for Gemini's in November? Their money. The moon. Someone's messing with you. I feel like there's someone trying to mess with you or mess with your money. There may be someone trying to sleep with you at your job as well, whatever you do for work. There's someone trying to mess with you. Who is this trying to mess with, with Gemini and their money? Who is this that's trying to mess with money? Gemini. Two of Wands. I'm getting a Scorpio. This could be someone older than you. That They're trying to talk to you. Someone's trying to fuck up your money. So be mindful of some kind of distraction. Yeah, I'm here and I was just playing around. So be mindful of like offers that come in that are not serious. Okay, like people that are scammers or liars, deceitful. Okay, this is not honest. This plus this, hell no. No. So um, be mindful of that. Uh, someone playing around like you know, giving you the runaround until you respond to them or blah, 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 you know, um, you know, saying that there's money in something and there's no money in it. You know, if you, if you have your own business, be mindful of clientele. That's not serious. If you work for a place, be mindful of like them giving you the runaround. They're not serious. Like they're not actually serious. They're playing around. They think it's funny. They're not actually like, it's, this is a lie or a joke. So just be mindful about that. Okay. Okay. Um, let me do should I do a Kipper and a, I want to do another card, I think. Hold on. What do you got for Gemini and their money in November? Main male. Ooh, bad health. This feels like this is an opportunity, Gemini. So this bad health card, I mean, this could be bad health or bad money or something like that. This this is an opportunity for growth. Don't look at something like this is a matter of perspective. Don't look at something as a negative. It's an opportunity for growth. What do you got for um, Gemini and their money? Mature man. I see you dealing with someone here that's older than you. It could be someone more mature. I don't know, 40s, 50s, 60s, I don't know. 
I don't know, someone, there could be someone that's trying to badmouth you regarding your work or your ideas, Gemini. I would just be mindful of this person. Then we got poverty. I'm actually going to clarify that because I did see the five of pentacles quite a bit for you. So I'm going to clarify that. I'm actually going to find the card in the deck to take it out too because I want to know what that is. Let me see if I could find it here. Yep. Let's take that out and clarify that. These could represent the same exact thing. What's this five of pentacles for... Um, Gemini and their money in November. I feel like it gets kind of lonely at times, Gemini. Like your path is going to get kind of lonely. Um, I'm not getting poverty in terms of like lack, although some of you guys could be struggling, but I do feel like money's good or it will be good. There will, it will be on a, there will be a positive, you know, money will be on the positive. It will be on a positive upswing, positive cycle for you. But um, I feel like it's just going to get lonely at times, you know, doing something by yourself. You're going to be feeling a little bit left out in the cold. Uh, so I don't know if you guys need some help or if you need to socialize, then I, I do see you guys getting invited to a party. But if you need some help, don't be afraid to lean on your friends or lean on your support system. If you need some people in your energy or some, you know, don't be afraid, like maybe play some background noise or um, what I used to do when I when I didn't want to do my work, like uh, when I used to be in school, um, I would talk to my friends on the phone while I was doing it. So I didn't have to, I didn't feel like I was alone. It was distracting, but it was so annoying to do it by myself. So I just talked to someone while I was doing it. Um, that could be helpful to you. So I don't know, but you may be feeling a little bit left out in the cold a little bit. It just feels like it feels like maybe it's a little bit lonely at the top, Gemini, or wherever you're headed. It's kind of lonely. So reach out for help. Reach out to your support system, you know, your family, friends, supporters, um, whatever it is. If you if you go to therapy, you know that there's no shame in that either. That fucking dog. Ugh. That dog is so annoying. Every damn time, man. As soon as you wake up, you got to do that. There, you know, I'm not going to blame the dog. It's the fucking owner. You don't train your dog. Probably leaves for work, leaves the dog alone. The dog gets lonely, starts biting, all, starts um, barking all day. Anyways, let's move on to what you need to know. Look what you made me do. You made me do. Dun, 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 dun. This... I may have to close the window. Spirit, please make that dog be quiet, please, so I don't have to close the window because I need air. I may have to close the window. Should I close it? I just don't know if that dog is going to keep barking and I'm going to have to stop in between. We're going to say, Gemini, you're, what you need to know is 450, 450 seconds. What does Gemini need to know in November? What does Gemini need to know? Okay, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, you need to know that you're a big spender and you have a problem. What you spend <laughs> is not the same as what other people spend. Okay, you have a big budget. You spend a lot of money. There's a lot of money leaving your life or leaving your, not leaving your life, leaving your bank account every month or constantly. You need to know that you have an issue. Okay, that's where your anxiety is stemming from. Stop spending so much. Control your spending. Control your spending. You're a big spender. You may be a shopaholic. Okay, some of you guys need to make a budget. How are you, you're over here looking at like your stuff, like why am I not getting results? Well, how is your money going to grow if it's leaving your, if it's, if it's leaving your bank account for Amazon purchases or for whatever, for some, whatever Gemini is like, maybe books. Okay. Whatever. Why, why, how is it going to grow? How are you, you're not going to see results if you, if you don't create a budget, like you need to create a budget, keep yourself to a strict schedule, keep yourself to a minimum, not saying, um, you know, it, it feels like you make a lot of money and then it leaves your account as soon as it, as soon as it drops. Some of you guys may not be able to control that. It could be bills, but I'm also getting that your spending habits are not helping either. Um, I'm not saying just, I'm not saying be completely rigid, be cheap, you know, don't spend anything because that's going to create a mentality of lack, but you don't need to spend $500 every day either, unless if you have it like that, but you know, you don't need to do that. <laughs> you really need that $500 bag. Do you have, can you buy it twice? Can you buy it three times? Are you going to buy it with real money? Are you going to have food in your fridge after you buy that? So be, you know, tell me more. What does Gemini need to know in November? Oh, the tower. I'm going to take that. What's the tower card? There's a need for you to eat breakfast, like eat, eat like your meals. 
eat meals, like not snacks, not candy, but like food. What's the tower for Gemini? What does Gemini need to know in November? Ooh, the tower and the moon. I want to say that something's not going to work. It feels like there's something that you're doing in an attempt to relax you. I don't feel like it's going to work. I'm getting the energy of like a muscle relaxer or reliever or something like that. Like um, something here feels like it's a placebo. Like you think that you're, I don't know. It feels like something's not going to work. It, it's clever. You know, I don't know if you're trying to trick your mind. For, I don't know, but it's not going to work. I don't know if you're trying to trick your mind into liking something. It's not going to work. <laughs> The tower, the moon. What is this tower, the moon for Gemini? What do they need to know in November? I feel like you already tried something and it didn't work the first time. It feels like something is insanity, Gemini. The definition of insanity is like trying something again, you know, and getting the, you know, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Like that's, that's insanity. Like it's going to lead to the same thing every single time. You have to change up your methods or try something new. Obviously something's not working when you do that. So do something, you have to switch it up. You guys may, what you need to know is that you guys may have to stir up the pot in your life. You guys may have to initiate a tower moment. All this chaos, I feel like you're going to have to, uh, create, like start, initiate a change in your life. If you want something to change, you want something different, then you have to change it. Because the definition of what you're doing, I'm going to see what this is about, is insanity. It's you're doing the same exact thing, expecting a different result, but you know that, you know, you're not changing up your strategy, the plan, whatever. What is this that Gemini is doing? Uh, what is this talking about where they have to change this? King of Cups. Sorry, my sleeve. What is this King of Cups for Gemini? What 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 is this um, talking about? That it's not going to work. They already tried this before. King of Cups. Sorry, I saw a card. King of Cups, Two of Pentacles. I feel like it's like you're not really sure about something, so you're playing around with it. But it's like you know that being in that energy of like juggling or not making up your mind is not conducive. Like it's keeping you in an energy of confusion. So how you get out of that is to get out of the two of swords, make up your mind is what I feel like. Like you already know that juggling or whatever it is that you're doing, that you're playing around with, like testing the waters. You already know that that being in that energy is not, is not causing any change or it's not doing anything. I feel like it's now is the time to be decisive because it could, I don't know. Can you tell me more about this? What is this for Gemini where it's not working? Um, that they tried this before. Queen of Pentacles. It could be something regarding your finances. It's something that you're not really sure of if it even works or not. Well, here's your answer. Now try something new. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry to be mean, but I mean, let me get one more spirit. Um, what else does Gemini need to know in November? Can I get one more? The fool. Sorry, any stretch. Oh God. I'm sorry. My back, my body. The fool. What's this fool for? Um, what does Gemini need to know in November? The fool, the seven of swords. I want to say don't sweat the small stuff. The ace of swords. Hold on. What is this for November in what is this for Gemini in November? What do they need to know? Uh, with this full card, I feel like this, this, uh, with this full card, I feel like someone's actually a sweetheart. Like someone's actually very nice or very kind. Someone's actually very giving, very endearing, very thoughtful. Like someone's actually a good person. But the, what is the seven of swords? What does Gemini need to know? Seven of swords, the knight of pentacles. And what's this Ace of Swords? What does Gemini need to know in November? Ace of Swords, Two of Wands. Number one, you need to know that you're going to survive something. So if you're in something right now where you're not sure about the outcome, you're going to get through it. You're going to come out the other end. Okay. Like you're going to make it through this. Um, I feel like someone's actually a good person, Gemini. I don't know if you're making someone else to be a bad person and they're not, but um, in November, but this person's actually a sweetheart. Like they're actually very kind and very nice. <laughs> okay. I don't... I don't know if you're like thinking someone's lying or has a hidden agenda. I feel like 
you know, obviously use your intuition. If someone did lie to you before then, or, you know, someone gave you reason, but I feel like someone here is just, you know, a sweetheart. Like, I don't feel like they have any qualms or any baggage. This person just feels like genuinely nice. I've, I've, I'm feeling like this person's very calm. They're very wise. Okay. Yeah. Someone here is actually just kind and sweet. This person's really nice. So it could be a woman. Um, okay. Let's move on to your blessings for the month. I'm actually going to use my line strider tarot for this, I think. Should I use that? I think I want to use that. And then we're going to cover your week by week analysis. Like I said, we're going to be here for a minute. And then we'll cut, we'll close this out with an Oracle card and we'll be done. I haven't used this deck in like, I don't even know how long it's been like years. Line strider, really simple. Look at how pretty that is. Okay. So then we're going to say that your blessings start at 55 minutes. What blessings uh, are there for Gemini in November spirit? What blessings do you have for Gemini? In November, spirit, what blessings? Two of Wands. Some of you guys could be taking a vacation. Some of you guys could be going out more. I feel like uh, you guys could be going on a date with somebody or you guys could be going steady with someone exclusive. I'm getting Virgo. What's this Two of Wands for um, blessings for Gemini in November? Two of Wands. Someone's going to come towards you. Someone's going to initiate conversation with you. They're going to come towards you. Who is this for Gemini? It seems like this person could read minds, okay? Like, it feels like this person knows what you're thinking. Um, there, there's a very cerebral connection here. This could be another Gemini because I'm hearing they're smart as well. Um, and I'm getting, like, twin twin telepathy. So Gemini is ruled by the twins. You're ruled by the twins. You could be attracting another Gemini or an air sign, okay? Um, who is this person that's coming towards Gemini in November for the blessings? Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. This could be someone coming towards you for a new beginning. Um, this could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the Five of Cups here. It could be a Scorpio. This could be a new person or someone that wants a new beginning. What, how is this a blessing for Gemini? How is this a blessing for Gemini in November? The Knight of Swords. Okay, I feel like someone comes towards you, Gemini, and it's a blessing because you need to slow down. Like, it's like you need to weigh out your options before you make a decision. So this comes in as like a way to kind of control your speed because maybe you're on the path to like recklessness or reckless abandon. So someone comes in as like a blessing, like speaking words of wisdom or, you know, words of advice to you is what it feels like. And tell me more blessings for Gemini in November. Five of Cups. Okay. You may be forgiving someone or forgiving something, like letting something go. So I see that you've done the healing, the grieving. Um, you may be forgiving. What is this Five of Cups for blessings for Gemini in November? Five of Cups. King of Wands. You're forgiving this person. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Queen of Wands. You and someone, uh, you're forgiving this person. You, This person is your friend. This person is going to be your friend. Okay, so this could be a counterpart situation. I mean, it could be a relationship, romantic, where you guys have a strong found, uh, strong friendship foundation. Sorry, where you guys have a strong friendship foundation. But um, I see you forgiving something, letting bygones be bygones. You're forgiving this person, and you guys are back in each other's good graces. Okay. The Emperor. This could be an Aries. Could be an air sign as well. They're, this person may come towards you. They may come talk to you. Um, so there's some forgiveness. There's an initiation of, of communication. Potentially a new beginning for blessings. Let's, let's see if I get one more. Can I get um, another blessing for Gemini? In November spirit, 
Another blessing for Gemini in November. Three of Swords. Hmm, interesting. It's like heartbreak, pain. What's this Three of Swords for blessings for Gemini? Three of Swords, Two of Cups. There's like some healing in a conversation. I feel like um things are going to come to like a things are going to calm down between you and another person. Like if you and someone here that you separated with or had some kind of trauma, past pain with um and it, you know, it's been all conflict, it's been issues, it's been breaking up, getting back to blah blah blah. It's been like a lot. I feel like something is going to calm down in a connection that you're in or a relationship. I see you claiming somebody, like you're claiming this person. Clarify this three of swords. Three of Swords, Nine of Wands. Despite all the pain, despite all the heartbreak, despite everything that has gone on or gone down between you and somebody, you are still friends. So I see you persevering through the pain, you persevering through some kind of heartbreak, through some kind of sadness, okay? You're persevering through this, through some kind of stress. Um, I see you persevering. Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords, that's um, a lot of pain. That's literally a wounded, a wounded, a wounded warrior, like a wounded soldier. Like something hurts. And I see you getting past this. This could be with a Taurus. What's this? Two of Cups? Um, for Gemini. Blessings. Two of Cups. Four of Swords. Yeah, someone's going to come towards you. But I, I feel like this person doesn't trust you. Someone's going to come towards you, but they don't trust you. Some of you guys may realize that you're being led on by somebody as well. So I see that, um, you know, there's some heartbreak, but that could be a, a, a blessing, a blessing in disguise. I see that some of you guys are going to take a break. For some of you, the blessing is that if you're a woman and then you could still have your period, um, you're getting your period. So the blessing may be for you that you're getting your period for some of you. But yeah, I see you taking a break. You could be taking a break from somebody, and that's a blessing. They're going to come towards you, but you're taking a break, or there's like a slowdown moment. Let me actually give it one more card on this, because I feel like there's another message that I'm missing here. What is this Three of Swords, Two of Cups here for Gemini? Four of Wands. king of cups i don't know but um this may be a big blessing or a blessing in disguise either way i'm not really getting the message i feel like i'm missing something but uh, i don't know let me just leave it alone four and the five of swords that's the nine okay um let's move on to your weekly analysis guys you still recording yes okay Can I get a weekly analysis for Gemini Spirit? Week one, week two, week three, week four, please. For November, weekly analysis for Gemini November. Week one, week two, week three, week four. Week one, week two, week three, week four. Okay, I pulled four cards. I didn't, I didn't, on the back of the deck, we got the four of wands. Okay, I didn't turn them over yet. They're all face down. We're going to do it one by one. I'm going to be time stamping though. Hold on. Okay. Week one, we have the page of pentacles. I feel like you guys are going to be trying something new. Okay. You're trying something new on for size, Gemini. I also see that you're going to be in communication with a lot of people, maybe feeling very vibrant, feeling very social. Some of you guys could be thinking about going blonde, like dyeing your hair. I'm getting platinum blonde. You could be thinking about going lighter. This is Page of Pentacles for Gemini, week one of November. 
Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Yeah, you're trying some new ideas. You're trying something new on for size. Maybe you're putting on different, I don't know if you're playing different roles, if you're putting on different outfits, if you're trying to find your personal style of who you are. You could be trying new things regarding work, you know, testing out your style, testing out your rhythm, testing something out. For some of you guys, I'm hearing testing out the algorithm. It's kind of like you're throwing things at the wall, seeing what sticks. Like you're being a student, you're being curious, okay? Asking the questions, trying new things. Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. What is this for Gemini? First week of November. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys are going to buy something new, like a new sweater. I see you guys making deposits as well regarding your money. So the first week of November is a money-focused week. Some of you guys, I'm getting like a new sweater. Like buying a new sweater, you're going to spend some money on something. I'm getting like new designer. I also see you not sweating the small stuff as well, Gemini. First week. Um, I see that you're very excited to be working on something or be very excited to do something as well. Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like this is where the insight is coming from. I think we picked up on insight regarding your money messages. So the first week of November is very insightful regarding it, regarding your career. Like you're getting some insight, more insight into your money. So it's like you're learning something a little bit more, the ins and outs of something. I don't know if you're learning from somebody, a mentor, but um, the first week of November is very insightful regarding finances and money. Okay. Second week. Second week of November, three of cups. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. I see there's an energy of you giving up on a connection a little bit. I feel like there's insight into your like family life or into your home and your friend life as well, like your social life. Um, I see you guys getting help as well. If you guys are needing like a friend group or something, someone or something to cling on to, um, you're getting some insight into that. It's like you're getting, like, I feel like November, the first two weeks at least, are very insightful for you. Like the ins and outs of something, like how it actually works. I don't know if you're learning something, exploring something new. I see that there is someone that you're going to be trusting as well um, to help you on your journey, whatever your journey is. And I'm also getting there's someone that thinks that you're cute. What's this Three of Cups for Gemini in November, their uh, second week of November? Three of Cups. Somebody wants you, Gemini. Somebody wants you. Somebody wants you for your skills and your talents, and they also want you. Like, they're not trying to use you. Someone genuinely wants you. Okay, you could have a reconciliation with somebody. Um, who is this that wants Gemini? But uh, they want to know when you're ready. Like, this person wants you when, it, when you're ready. So like, they're not going to force you into something. They want, they want you to communicate with them. Like, let me know when you're ready. I want this when you want it, when you're ready for me. Okay. King of Pentacles could be a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo. Could just be someone that's very stable or focused on business. This person could be horny for you as well. Um, they're a jumper. Like they kind of jump into things, maybe like jump into connections or jump into stuff, but they're also like slow. So I don't know. It's like, I don't know if that makes sense. They're into you. This person's into you. They're going to flirt with you. If you flirt, if you, if you shoot your shot with somebody second week of November, um, you know, you're going to make it in. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to shoot back. Like they're, they're going to talk back to you. Okay. So, you know, you say something, they say something back, you know, you're getting a response. There's reciprocal energy. What else is this? Three of cups for Gemini second week of November, three of cups. I, I see that you're going to enjoy doing something as well. This could be something creative. Sorry. This could be something creative. You're going to enjoy doing something. This could be something regarding your background, like where you came from or where you come from. Seven of cups, six of cups, sorry, three of cups, seven of wands. Um, I see you putting something or putting things on the back burner as well. Like, you know, putting things for later, saving it for later to revisit stuff at a later date. So for now, you're rejecting certain things. Second week of November um, is just not, it's not a priority right now. Um, you guys could be having a lot of flings, okay, a lot of friend stuff, you know, social energy. This is Three of Cups for Gemini, second week of November. There's someone that, there's a friend of yours that's envious of your success as well. It could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Some of you guys, I'm getting Virgo. Uh, there's someone that's a bit envious of you. They could be trying to copy off of you, steal your work, steal your ideas. Maybe because you're getting results, they're not. <laughs> they're going to come towards you. Yeah, this is jealousy. Someone here could be bad-mouthing you or talking shit about you behind your back. It feels like it could be like a best friend of yours. Or I don't know if someone here is talking shit to you, but there's definitely a shit talker. And I am getting jealousy. Like, this person is jealous. Um, okay. Be quiet. 
one hour hold on let me just read let me just because i'm tired of typing on this this is annoying let me just set it up okay third week of november we have eight of cups i'm hearing trial and error okay trial and error so uh you're this is an experimentation week What's the Eight of Cups for Gemini? Third week of November. Eight of Cups, King of Cups. Uh, this feels like trial and error with a person. So I've, I, I kind of see you going off and on or back and forth with somebody throughout the uh, throughout the month. Like you're doing it, then you're back again, then you're you know, blah, blah, blah. Eight of Cups, King of Cups. There's like someone that's really envious of you, Gemini. Who is this that's envious of Gemini? Third week of November. I'm getting a Scorpio. A Scorpio. I'm getting someone with dark hair, dark features. Could be another Gemini as well. There's someone that's envious of you and your success, like what you're coming into or what you've become. Like someone here is envious of you. You should watch out for this person. They could be very possessive over you as well. Um, who is this? I think I think they're also. I think it's because you're successful, but I feel like they're also very successful. I just don't think they want you to be. This person could be a little possessive. And we have the King of Swords. So this, the Queen of Swords. Sorry. Um, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, man or woman. Um, this person is in your second week and third week of November. So just be mindful. Um, who is this person that's a little, that's jealous of Gemini? Third week of November. Identify them. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. The World, Eight of Pentacles. They're jealous of your ideas, like the stuff that you come up with. Someone here is like jealous of your goals. So be mindful of sharing your goals with somebody because somebody here is jealous. They're jealous of like your potential, like your goals, like what you could come into, like um, your results. They're very envious of your successes. I feel like for some of you, they're envious that you're getting paid as well. It's like they don't want you to have nothing. Who is this person that's jealous? The world, the eight of pentacles. Some of y'all, I'm getting Scorpio. I'm getting Scorpio energy. I feel like it's because you're getting paid and they don't. They don't get money or you do. I don't know. Something like that. Um, and they're very possessive. They could be like kind of nosy into your background, like, you know, into like what you're trying to do. Very possessive over you. Very possessive. Um, I see you kind of leaving something alone. Maybe, you know, leaving something on the back burner. This could be one of the things that you're walking away from where we talked about in the second week. What's this Eight of Cups for Gemini? Third week of November. Eight of Cups, third week of November. Okay, you're going to invent something new and there's someone that's going to want to take it from you. You're going to come up with something new, like a new idea. And as soon as you do that, Gemini, there's some devil energy that pops up. Eight of Cups, devil, Wheel of Fortune. You think someone's your friend and they're not. You think somebody's a friend and they're not. They're a foe. I'm also getting, Gemini, someone could be wondering like how you can afford something. So there's like, I see like a nosy energy, like people being a little intrusive, wanting to know how much you make or how can you afford to live where you live or live how you do or something like that. Like there's people that are um, invested in like Gemini, maybe like pocket watching a little bit. What is this for Gemini? Third week of, of November. There's strong envy. Someone's hating on you. There's someone hating on you, Gemini. Strong envy. Some of you guys could be, um, someone could be a player here as well. Third week. I feel like someone here has a, a has a short fuse, like a loose screw, short fuse. A few uh, screws loose away from a um, straight jacket is what I feel like. Someone here has a, a few screws loose from being crazy, completely batshit. To me, all that could be a Capricorn with the devil. I keep seeing the Seven of Swords for you whenever I split the deck, so I kind of want to know what that's about. I don't know if that's for the third week, but I'm just going to clarify that if I could find it again. Be mindful of someone just trying to get close to you for, like, some weird reason. Hold on. I keep seeing this card every time I split the deck, so I'm going to clarify this. What's the Seven of Swords for Gemini in November? Seven of Swords, Two of Wands. Someone's trying to get close to you for like either, I feel like someone's trying to get close to you to steal from you, like to copy off of you or, or, or like um, like learn your habits or learn whatever. Like someone here is trying to like, this is not, this is, this is not like, um, 
this is not like a like a inspiration or like this is not an inspirational thing or like a motivation thing like this is not flattering this is creepy someone's trying to get close to you to like steal your ways like i want to know what gemini uses on their hair or their face or i want to know what gemini what gemini eats so i could start eating that i want to know what gemini does their daily routine like they're they're trying to infiltrate your life to take from you like it's it's not inspir it's not inspirational like or this is not a fan or like someone that's like inspired by you this is someone that's like a leech or trying to steal from you like this is this is odd it's weird it's predatory it feels okay so i want to say be mindful be on the lookout for that be mindful okay um finally your fourth week of november okay your fourth week we have the chariot card okay so this is um this is cancer energy. Some of you guys, I see you being very excited for something, something new. I feel like you're going to embark on a new journey and I feel like you're very tired, but you're going to embark on something new. Okay. This is a new, exciting adventure, a new, exciting venture. And I feel like you may be closing out a cycle with somebody or in general in your life. What's the chariot for Gemini? Fourth week of November, the chariot, the moon, uh, there's someone in your life. It could be a cancer. They're coming off very closed off. Okay. Emotionally closed off. I feel like this person may not be good with women or with men. The chariot, the moon. Clarify this for Gemini, fourth week of November. Some of you guys could be moving soon, moving home. I see you guys closing a deal as well. I'm getting something about the Midwest. Like you guys may be moving out to the Midwest. I feel like you're making a decision. Some of you guys could be traveling to the Caribbean, Jamaica, something like that. The chariot, the moon. I see that you're going to be very inspired by something the fourth week of November. I'm also getting Gemini. You're very tired, fourth week. So like, uh, I don't know if you've been working hard, but you're very, you're very tired. You're very excitable. You're very restless. And um, I also feel like you're going to, uh, something is very, something is going to inspire you or propel you forward. Like um, there's going to be some momentum movement. With this seven of pentacles, I feel like you're going to have to make room for something new in your life. Like you're going to have to make room for something, Gemini, you're going to have to make or hold space for something because something's coming in. This could be some kind of result. Your investment's paying off, but you're going to have to make space. What's the Seven of Pentacles? What is this that Gemini is going to have to make space for fourth week of November? This could be a family member because someone here is coming in. So you're going to have to make some time or space for this person. It feels like they're coming in. King of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this person's coming in to help, but you have to make room for this person, like to let them into your life, to let them help you. Because I feel like some of you guys could be coming across as a little bit closed off. So it seems like there's some new journey that you're embarking on. You're very excited. There's someone coming in to help you, family potentially. Um, they want to be there for you. You know, they want to nurture, help, provide in some way. That They're coming out as a king, not a queen. So this is like providing. Um, you got to just let this person help you, like let them in a little bit, okay? Uh, okay, that's what I got for you, Gemini. Let's do an oracle message for you, finally. And then we're going to go off onto the next zodiac sign. Okay, let's get an oracle card or two or five for you. Um, I see that some of you guys are going to, I don't know if you guys are designers, but I see some of you guys are going to design something new. Like it could be like a clothing brand, a clothing line. There's like some new ideas. I'm getting a design for something. I don't know if you're creating a logo or what, but you may be feeling very creative in November. Um, can I get an Oracle card for Gemini, November spirit? Oracle card for Gemini, November. Okay, we got two. On the back of the deck, we have achievement, which is ruled, which is the flower Chago. Chago. And then we have two cards, which I'll take two. We have um, Balance, Chocolate Flower, and then we have Restore, Rain Lily. Some of you guys could be saving some rainwater as well, is what I'm getting. But let's read these both from the deck, Balance and Restore. Some of you guys are finding balance in your everyday life and in your health as well. I feel like you're accepting help from other people. Um, harmony is possible as well as the opportunity to blend together facets of your world into a more productive and balanced way. Endeavors undertaken, especially creative ones, should prove to be very successful, and you may find the way ahead actually very easy to navigate. Guidance is being offered, and the advice could be of great value to you at present, and even provide you with security. 
Patience may be needed for a while, but it will ensure that you find a calmness which could be lacking or required right now. You will find your balance in this space. The challenge will be to remain balanced and to not become disconnected or risk going to extremes. Be wary of arguments and fights that stem from miscommunication and a lack of decision making. Okay, um, let's move on to restore. That's self-explanatory. I'm not going to explain it. Restore, rain lily. A change for the better is coming and opening up to new possibilities. You are right in the path of benefit. Things are moving now and the direction is changing in your favor, but you must be prepared to compromise a little. Yep, I was getting compromised. The timing may not be exactly to your liking, but the outcome will be worth any extra waiting or work on your part. Cleansing and a change is a cleansing and a change in the way you might have approached things in the past are needed. This is not a frantic pouring, but a steady, methodical, and careful release to protect what it is you wish to retain. Balance needs to be found and kept. We just read balance. You can find ways to do this by looking at the cycles that you have that have put you where you are now. Challenges are overreaction and hastiness. Okay, so this is you needing to find a level of calm, Gemini. Um, you could be prone to reaction. Okay, but um, I'm getting I'm getting heavy temperance energy. So if you guys read your own tarot cards, you may see like if you do daily draws for yourself, you may see like the temperance card come out for you and you're reading a lot. This is more emphasis on the need for balance and moderation and non reactivity. Okay, especially for things that you cannot control. Okay, things that are outside of your control. But that is what I have for you, Gemini. Okay, it's been a long reading. Thank you for sticking with me if you watched this long. And yeah, I hope this helps you in some way. You can, you know, refer to this reading throughout the rest of no um, November, which is why it's time stamped and so in depth so that, you know, each week you can get a, get a gist of what you might be encountering or get some clarity, get some insight. Okay. I do these readings strictly for like insight and information. Okay. So yeah, but that's what I got for you guys. I hope this helped you in some way. I hope it resonated and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye guys.